Oh, please do. It's Sunday, right? It's the day of rest. So are you a volunteer here? Oh, I'm a paid employee. You are? Okay. So what do you, do you, I'm video I'm a farmer. I'm an 1880s farmer is my title. And that means that I do everything around here. Yeah. We plow the fields, we plant the crops, we harvest the grain, we take care of the livestock, we birth the lambs, we shear the sheep, we butcher the pigs, we do it all. I helped artificially inseminate those two cows over there, they're both <laughs> pregnant, and when they have their calves, I'll probably be there to help them with that. So we do it all. It's 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 a working farm. Mm -hmm. How long have you been here? My 12th season. Okay, and what did you do prior to that? Farming? I was an advertising executive. Wow, okay. I'm a Chrysler business. Yeah. I never thought I'd do this. <laughs> but I got a job in uh, 08, I guess it was, and they put me on the roundhouse and I worked Smith's Creek Depot and while I was over there I found out that every day the ladies who made dinner here you got a free meal so pretty soon there was an opening and I said boy if I can get a free meal it beats going to the employee dining room mm -hmm. so I came over here and decided to be a farmer and I haven't regretted it it's been the best for me. It keeps me active I'll be 75 this year so it keeps me on Keeps me using my body. You know, I can still pick a bale of hay up and throw it if I want to. <laughs> I try to arm wrestle all my friends, but nobody wants to do it anymore. <laughs> if I'd been working out a little more, I would challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love a good arm wrestle. <laughs> well, that's cool. So you had to learn all these skills. Yeah, and you learn it. For, you know what Henry Ford said? He said you learn by doing, mm -hmm. and that's how I learned it. I had never butchered a pig before. I had never birthed a lamb before. I had never sheared a sheep before. But you do it. And that's how you learn. And now I'm teaching the younger kids how to do it. That's amazing. So um, younger kids that work here? like Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's, other, there's younger farmers than me. Yeah. There's lots of them, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm the oldest guy. Nobody older than me. Nobody's been here longer than me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You've been here 12 years? 12 years, okay. my 12th season. Yeah. But we work year-round. We work in the winter, too, because even when the village is closed, the, the animals are still on site. And so we got to feed them, we got to water them, we got to get rid of their manure. I've shoveled tons of manure. I tell my friends I'm a solid waste disposal technician. <laughs> and does that go into compost, then? Uh, some does. Some goes directly out into the fields. So we manure all these fields in the wintertime. That's something we do in the winter. And then in the spring, we plow it under. Hmm. So, and that's what farmers would have done in 1885, too. Hmm. We do it just like they did it. We don't cheat, you know? <laughs> we do it the hard way. Hmm. So. so this is 1885. Is this right. based on the Firestone, what the Firestone farm was like in yes, 1885? It, yes, yeah. When the Firestones and the Fords negotiated moving the the Firestone Farm from Ohio to Greenfield Village. One of the stipulations that the Firestone family made was that it be maintained as a working farm. They wanted it to be a working farm. So we only have seven acres, but we work all seven acres. And we, we, we have about 40 sheep. We've got two cows. We've got two, two or sometimes three horses. Uh, we usually have two pigs. We haven't got them yet. We're gonna get them soon. We've got wheat in the field. We're planting corn pretty soon. This garden has just got planted. The ladies will be planting their garden. We've got orchards. We've got bees. We've got everything that they had in 1885. And the same varieties, too. They had shorthorns. We have shorthorns. We grow rattlesnake watermelon. They grew ladder rattlesnake watermelon. So it's all the old varieties. Well, chicken coop, too. I haven't bought an egg in 12 years. I get fresh eggs all the time. Well, they're probably the best here, oh, they're right? They're absolutely the best. I, I don't even need a store bought egg anymore. I don't want one. Yeah. I my, gave my daughter one of our eggs, and I said, Take one of your eggs, get the frying pan warmed up, put a little grease in there, and we pop both eggs in there. And hers looked like the moon, and mine looked like the sun. Mm -hmm. It was that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. Hers was flat and yellow, mine was orange, and, you know, like a half dome. <laughs> 
delicious. It tastes better, too. Mm -hmm. All this old stuff that we grow, even our pork, our hams, our bacon, all these old vegetables, all the, you know, summer Rambo apples, they taste wonderful. They taste like nothing you've ever eaten because you can't find this stuff in the store. If you don't grow it, you're not going to get it, you know, unless you know a farmer that's growing it. <laughs>